This video was created to provide key information about RadioVal. RadioVal is the very first international clinical validation of radiomics artificial intelligence for breast cancer treatment planning. The project is funded by the European Union's Horizon Europe Research and Innovation Program. RadioVal started in September 2022 and will last four years. All in all, 16 universities, university clinics, hospitals, and other organizations from across the European Union, South America, North Africa, and Eurasia are part of the RadioVal project, which is coordinated by the University of Barcelona. RadioVal brings together breast cancer care and artificial intelligence. This is a research project, but with practical implications. An artificial intelligence tool will be developed and validated in close collaboration with healthcare professionals and patients who will considerably benefit from the implementation of solutions such as RadioVal in the clinical practice of breast cancer treatment planning. Breast cancer is the most common cancer worldwide in women. According to the World Health Organization, nearly 2,300,000 women received this diagnosis in 2020 while almost 700,000 women died from breast cancer, making breast cancer one of the deadliest diseases. But medical science and research have improved tremendously our knowledge and skills in prevention, detection and treatment of breast cancer. Regular screening allows early diagnosis when the cancer might be easier and quicker to treat. With the recent progress in medicine, even women with advanced stages of breast cancer have a variety of therapeutic options which can help them overcome the disease and recover. Neoadjuvant chemotherapy, or NAC, is one of these therapies that can be given to patients to reduce the size of the tumor and the extent of the disease before surgery. However, this is where the story gets complicated. The neoadjuvant chemotherapy is not a silver bullet and not a one-size-fits-all recipe. There are patients who respond to the NAC and have complete pathologic response, and there are non-responders for whom this therapy does not work. All cancer tumors have distinct genetic and molecular characteristics, which vary from one patient to another, and therefore call for telomere treatments for each patient. But establishing the exact properties of tumor behavior for each patient may be challenging or even impossible. Clinicians are aware of this problem and try to find a solution. But today's accepted approach to recognize those patients who can benefit from the neoadjuvant chemotherapy is overly complex and not always accurate or risk-free. As a result, neoadjuvant chemotherapy may be prescribed with no effect for the patient. Besides, Neoadjuvant chemotherapy may have specific side effects and be toxic to some tissue types and organs, such as the human heart. The course of the neoadjuvant chemotherapy lasts from four to six months. And last but not least, the neoadjuvant chemotherapy is not used routinely in some countries, as it can be very costly. As a result, the patient who has the potential to fully benefit from the NAC may not get it. Artificial intelligence has quickly stepped into our everyday lives and its expansion continues also in healthcare. One of the areas where research for clinical use of artificial intelligence received utmost attention is breast cancer care, and there are already promising results and achievements. Radiomics is a new but fastly evolving method to pick out information from medical images that is difficult to recognize and analyze by the human eye. Medical images, such as magnetic resonance images, are scanned and analyzed by the sophisticated software for different characteristics of the cancer tumor. Radiomics brings computer-aided comparison of magnetic resonance image scans taken at different points of time from the same patient to help clinicians see and measure the most subtle and sensitive changes in the tumor over time. Yet, before artificial intelligence powered radiomics is deployed and routinely used in clinical settings, a long road is to be walked, and the RadioVal project has started this journey. Thousands of images from different countries will be carefully collected, assessed, and information from them analyzed from various perspectives. 
a broad team of researchers, clinical professionals, artificial intelligence experts, patients, ethical experts, and other stakeholders involved in breast cancer care will be called to create, design, validate, test, and safeguard the good performance and applicability of this new technological solution in the real world.